What up is me, Prez, and in this chess game of life, you're going to need some OG moves. Welcome to my men's improvement channel. Like the video and subscribe if you haven't. So, you know what I like to do. I like to do reaction videos to The Real. It's a TV show. Uh, pretty female uh, biased, female fan based. Da -da 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 -da. You know what I mean? Uh, and. I feel like uh, these ladies, this show is a perfect uh, way to uh, get my points across. So what I'm doing is just going down uh, the clips on their YouTube page and reacting to them. So today we have a clip here. It is called, Can a Baby Save Your Marriage? Okay. They ask some good questions They uh, and they have some good uh Discussions. So let's get to it, but we gotta play my intro first. Uh, I get it, I'm with it. Uh, I'm with it, I get it. Uh, I'm so lit, lit, bitch, bounce like titty. I love my city. I'm on the grind. All the time. I'm on the grind. I'm on the grind. I'm on the grind. Yeah, I'm on the grind. All the time. It's all the time. I'm on the grind. Yeah, I'm on the grind. We back, and again, we got a video clip here from The Real called, Can a Baby Save Your Marriage? Hell to the fuck, no, 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 it can't, okay? Um, if the marriage over, the marriage over, you know what I mean? Um, like, in the, in the, on the woman's side, if she want to leave you, bro, it's done with. She, I mean, she if she she's already gone, okay. And if a man want to leave you, you done fucked up because men usually uh go through the bullshit, stick it out. You know what I mean? Shoot, uh, so nothing can save it, and a baby only makes it more difficult. So let's see what they talking about. I feel <clears throat> I'm gonna guess they answers. Um. These type of ladies don't even like babies. You know what I mean? So, Tamar definitely uh, is uh, going to say it, it can't fix your marriage because she probably don't even like her kids. Uh, I don't think nobody's going to say that. It, 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 everybody knows this. Everybody knows this. But they're asking the question because they know women do this. All right? So, let's check it out. Logan wouldn't sleep all night, oh. and it was Vince's turn to change him, and he kind of got a little attitude with me, right? Because it was like 5.30 in the morning, uh -huh. and so naturally, I got an attitude back because he had an attitude, yes. right? <laughs> and I uh, I'm saying, uh, from watching all these clips, her husband is paid, okay? Probably more than her, okay? And she's on a TV show, so I'm... What do you do outside of come on here and talk on the TV show and wear fancy clothes? My turn or not, get up. I mean, whoever said a kid is going to bring a marriage to a new level clearly has never had a baby before. Exactly. <laughs> it definitely brings a marriage to a new level. It depends on uh, real, for real, maturity. You know, all because you're an adult. All because you having kids don't mean you're mature. You might not be mature enough to have kids yet. Uh, having a baby actually tests your marriage. Definitely. Yes. I told y'all she's wife. I didn't say this. It definitely tests your marriage. It brings it to a whole new level. <laughs> so you have to make sure that you have a strong foundation before you have before you have a baby. I remember my. I always say don't take no advice from women, but I feel like probably Tia probably got some decent advice sometimes. But still don't take none from no woman just because on the odds of probability, you're going to get bad advice. <laughs> Sister, she told me that was probably the best advice she could give 
Adam and I. The positive of it is, is I get to see my husband as a father, mm -hmm. and that is sexy. That's cute. Whole another level, okay? You've seen him as the man, as your pr protector, your provider. Now you get to see him as a father of your children. It's a flex, actually. But the reality of the situation is, it's hard work. It's yeah. hard work. It's hard and to I just have to tell all... I'm going to say, I'm not sure what they mean by it's hard work being a parent. It's not easy, but actual work is not. Your, your child, you're physically stronger than them. You know what I mean? They don't run nothing. They, they don't run nothing. They don't uh, pay for anything. They have no influence. They have no say-so. You know what I mean? So I don't, like, like, they pretty much do what you say if you know how to raise children. That's where I think that they say it's hard. It's hard because they don't know how to raise children. There's not a book, but there's a, a definite guideline. The ladies that's thinking about having a baby to save their relationship, do not do uh, Why? Why do... Why... Why is my question, somebody answered this, why is Tamar so ghetto? It, did they not grow up, I mean, like, I just know Tony Braxton has been rich all my life, I'm pretty sure, you know what I mean? So, this is her little sister I'm looking at, I'm thinking, I will hope so. Well, if this is her older sister, she got, she, she prettier than I think then, but, uh, like, why is she so fucking ghetto? The head movements, the snapping of the tongue. <clears throat> I really think this is a character because she can't possibly act like this. I, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> End quote. Ain't nobody. I don't like Tamar's character on this TV show. It's all fake. You know what I mean? She, uh, even me talking to you here, I'm a little more animated than I would be in person. Sort of. You know what I mean? So... Uh, I'm, I'm, I have to feel that she just turned up a little bit to entertain everybody, which is good, but I hate how ghetto she is. She, she's a bad look. Got time for that. Exactly. Yeah. A lot of people think, like, what other, what is the strongest bond you can ever share with somebody? I think that's where people's minds are at. Like, okay, if I really want to have this man in my life forever, which is why so many people do the, oops, I'm pregnant, will you please marry me mm -hmm. sort of situation. Oops, I'm pregnant. She just told you how, like, uh, how they trap uh, guys. That's it. They just, she just confirmed. This is why you need Roe versus Wade. No more oopsies. Okay, it's all intentional. We already knew it was intentional. Now you can't fucking lie about it. All right, no oopsies. But I think it's because they think that's the greatest bond you mm -hmm. can ever share with somebody. It this, is. This but is do you want Adam? It is. It really is. Uh, so, it's the greatest bond? No. It's the highest honor you can share with somebody. And a lot of people waste that honor on unworthy people. Did you ever argue over that? Well, did y'all in the beginning? Oh, yes. Honestly, I mean, did you ever do this? Where when you're nursing and then your husband's asleep, but you're still up and you're giving them the side eye? like Yes, because he's snoring real hard. <laughs> yes. They get to sleep. That's not fair. And you don't? Yes. It's totally normal, though. Is it? Yes. That's not normal. That don't make no sense. You're breastfeeding uh, a choice. Uh, probably uh, uh, the husband and the wife may, but pretty the the wife makes that that type of choice. If you don't want to breastfeed, you wouldn't. So you're up breastfeeding, and you upset with him because he not breastfeeding the baby. I don't get it. I mean, I guess I guess we can. I guess men can breastfeed these days. Is it is it normal? Chest feed, they say. Or not to like them very much. Yes. <laughs> It is. Yeah, because that's probably that my question. reason why I don't think that that works, why that wouldn't save a marriage, is because if you're already on rocky roads, I would think that then you have a child and you're resentful. Mm -hmm. Very resentful. Like, I didn't, this is not, this was not the plan. Like, I would think. If you had a baby to save the marriage, that's the plan. No accountability. God damn it, cheetah girl. That I'd be resentful that now I'm stuck. I feel like I'm really... You had the baby. You resenting your choice. 
to save the marriage. Really struggling with whether or not I want to have kids. Mm -hmm. One part I feel like I heard. And I, I will, if there's any guys out there, because a girl will tell you, yeah, he got me on pregnant. He told me in my ear that uh, he want to come and me have his baby or whatever. That means y'all both agreed to have a baby. You know what I mean? But I don't know no guy out here that's, uh, that's intentionally, uh, well, any guy worth, you know what I mean? Should, uh, any guy in, any guy worth is not going to have any woman of worth. Just because, like, like trying to, without her knowledge, you know what I mean, save the, to save the marriage or save the relationship. I don't think guys do that. I'm not, I've never heard a guy say that, you know. But I heard lots of women say, uh, yeah, he, he tried to, uh, uh, he got me pregnant. He did that on purpose. Uh, okay. That the thing that you love the most in life, picture that times multi-million. That's, that's how it feels when you have a child. Mm -hmm. I want to experience that. You do? I do. <laughs> I really do. And I love my man. I love God. But Why Tamar is so negative to positive things and positive about negative things? I just did a video about them saying about um, um, college girls having sex in college. You know what I mean? Um, and she's like, yeah, go ahead. It's a, it's a hookup. Just hook it up. You know what I'm saying? One night stand. Woo -woo. She with that. But Jeannie Mai just talked about how she want to try. She want to want the greatest bond ever. And you want that? You already got it. You know it's good. And But you don't want her to get it too. So you can't be listening to these old bitches. Ladies. But I feel like, wow, if I could. Young ladies, stop listening to the old ladies. Listen to your dads for advice, you know what I mean? Shoot, uh, listen to them. Listen to older women. I uh, like, I don't know what this word is. Like, listen to them like this. Like, huh? Mmm. Mmm. Dissect what they talk about. And then don't use none of it. Then go talk to, you, to your, your brother, your uncle, or your dad. Feel something even more powerful than that i want to experience that however on the other side i've seen couples where kids become the focus and it breaks the couple apart and i don't want to lose the attention that i already have kids should be the focus once you have kids you brought more people into your family and guess what it's not about husband and wife anymore now you have the obligation of making a another generation of your of your dna you know, shoot, uh, it ain't about, it ain't, once you have kids, that's it. That's it. Like, I I condone staying in marriages that you're not happy in for the kids because it's the best outcome. Well, they shouldn't grow up in a toxic, no, lady, you're going to make it toxic. Yeah, like, as an, as an adult, you go to and uh, work with people you don't like. You know what I mean? Uh, meet people you don't like and you don't fight with them and stuff, but you go home and you're going to have to fight with your husband and stuff because you don't like him in front of your kids. You call that toxic, now you want to leave? No, you can be an adult. And since y'all made an agreement and brought other people in on the agreement, how about you just stick with the agreement? Um, you can keep a whole, I mean, your, it's your relationship. I mean, it, now your relationship got a different dynamic. Uh, maybe uh, y'all not together, but y'all still in the household. Oh, well, I need to find love. No. You made a decision on marrying somebody. It's time to stick it through. Until the kids leave, I say stick around till the kids leave. I man now. I think a lot of the times, especially right now in Hollywood, some people think of kids and babies as an accessory. But the reality of the situation, no, this is a human being that you have to take care of. Yeah. Right, this is not a publicity stunt. No, it's not. You take care of accessories, okay? Uh, I always say um, kids are just accessories to your life, but they're important. You know what I mean? Shoot, they make the outfit. Okay, there's you, and then what's the best, what's the most expensive part on you? Your accessories, your watch, your purse. Not my purse, your purse. Uh, the rings, the the chains, the 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 earrings, the shoes, shoes are accessories. Hats, okay. So, man, they are accessories. And and it's hard work, but I wasn't uh, arguing no point. I just like to call them accessories. All right. So she said that that triggered me. 
I mean, being a mom is the hardest job that you'll ever love. Yeah, Thank but you. get ready for that, all that attention changing, honey, because yeah. I don't get no attention. <laughs> See? And I don't want... I don't believe that at all. She don't get as much as she want. And that's probably why uh, uh, she, dude keeping her on a leash. Nobody ever, nobody else want her except him. And uh, I was making fun of uh, how big he is. He's not that attractive to me, no homo. You know what I mean? I know a handsome dude when I see one. And uh, I was just dissecting why he would be with Tamar. And it's probably because of his size, but he do got bread. Uh, she and she 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 love him. She she and she like him. You know what I mean? She, I I feel like she almost confessing right now. She she seemed like more genuine on this topic right here. But I want all the attention that I barely get from my man now because we work so much. Wait, so Vince is, he only f focuses on Logan? Everything now? is Logan, which it should be, but yeah. everything is Logan, Miracle, Tamar. You know what I mean? I had to. Mm -hmm. Man, shoot, you're in the list. You could be 10th. Um, it's really, uh, uh, well, all that well, is really his. Uh, uh, his health, his purpose, himself, then uh, Logan, whoever that other name was, and Tamar. You're in sixth, actually. Uh, <laughs> miracle, your dog. 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 Yeah, the dog. The dog is your kid, too. Okay, I don't, man. I got a, I got a, a chihuahua. True to, uh, we'll fight about that. That's his homeboy, like, for real, for real. <laughs> No, seriously. Like, I had to get on the reel to actually have a conversation with somebody. Hmm. Had to get on the reel to just have a conversation with somebody. That means when you woke up in the middle of the night having to uh, change the diaper, like, before that, before, uh, he he's the breadwinner. You change that diaper, okay? Uh, I'm a little chauvinistic. I just feel like it's, it is uh, roles. And it, we got roles, you know what I mean? So, no, I'm not going to never uh, change the diaper. I'm going to definitely change the diaper of my children because that's an experience. But I need you to do it the most, okay? So, uh, I'm, I'm, you, you do the diaper change and I do the heavy lifting. How about that? Or we can switch. Uh, what you want to do? I don't mind doing diaper changes if you're going to be, uh, you're going to bring the comforter, comforter in from the, uh, from the uh, garage. Uh, are you are you taking the washing machine down to the basement? No, I don't know. Okay, but um, in this chess game of life, you're going to need some OG moves. I'm leaving with my intro. Uh, I did it, I'm with it. Uh, I'm with it, I did it. Uh, I'm so lit, lit, bitch, bounce like titty.